What is going on guys, it's King Touch Pro and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to stabilize footage inside of Final Cut Pro 10. So let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. So the first thing you want to go ahead and do is make sure you imported your footage into Final Cut of course and have added it into the timeline. You want to make sure that you have everything edited first so it speeds up the process. So I'm going to be using this footage here as an example. You can see that my hand, I tried keeping my hand as, as smooth as as I can so that's the key to make stabilization much easier so if we go ahead and play it back you can see that it's kind of shaky and we want to stabilize it so it looks a little bit better so what we can do is we want to go ahead and make sure we start it from the beginning select your clip and then go over to the inspector here so go and select the inspector button and then go down until you find stabilization uh, click this button right here and it should turn blue and this will zoom in onto your video so make sure you film further away from your subject and then over here the stabilization depending how long your video is it's only about seven seconds long so if you have like an hour long video or a movie I guess it's gonna take a very long time but if they're like cut in uh, in many pieces then you will have to do this for each single one but of course you could always do that by going over to edit and copy and then pasting in the effects onto the clips but this will take some time mine already finished because it's only like seven seconds long so if we go ahead and play it you can see that it is now stabilized and it looks way better than before Final Cut Pro did have to zoom in um, but over here where it says the method if you go ahead and select like that you can have two different options here well three you have automatic which will determine which is best to use you could use um, inertia cam and inertia cam is a little bit different it makes it so it's a little bit more uh, zoomed out and if you go over to smooth cam smooth cam is kind of the same thing as automatic but I don't really use it but it's kind of the same thing um, I'm not really familiar with which one is better but I just keep it on automatic and then the translation smooth this is how far or how close it is gonna be to your footage so I'm gonna move it to to about 0.73 and then the rotation smooth this is just how smooth it's gonna be the scale smooth um, if you zoom it in like really close the smoother the video will be but I'm not gonna do that because it looks really bad so I'm gonna go back to about one I think one will be good so just type in one here by double clicking on here and then if we go ahead and play it back you can see that the footage is now stabilized and it looks much smoother than before where it was shaky this is the before and the after footage so if I push play uh, from the beginning so this is the before for without stabilization um, and then after this you will see that it has been stabilized with Final Cuts Pro stabilization and it looks way better so you could do this if you have trouble keeping your hand steady when you're filming so that's why I suggest using the tripod but if you're gonna be filming like this then stabilization comes in handy alright guys so that is it for this tutorial if you guys found it helpful in any way then please leave a rating below that will be much appreciated if you guys want more videos like this be sure to subscribe comment down for a video suggestion hope you guys have a awesome Christmas and and uh, yeah, so I will catch you guys on my next video, which is probably going to be next year in January 2016. Other than that, hope you guys have a fantastic day and I will catch you guys on my next video. Peace out, take care and enjoy your day.